Hello again and happy new year to you all. I hope 2020 treats us well and brings us lots of laughter, joy, personal growth, health, luck, exciting opportunities, and new adventures. 20 is my favorite and lucky number, so I've got high hopes, fingers crossed. Also, I've been told this is the year Pisces are supposed to thrive, so I'ma say it's destiny. <laughs> But yeah, today is the first when I am making this video, so I decided to start the year off with a spontaneous day of painting. I know many of us during this time like to make resolutions and set goals. I have a few goals in mind that I want to manifest and actively pursue this year, but I'll share those in another video. Instead, today I want to reflect on 2019, the year I've personally labeled as the worst in my mind. <laughs> but it's also the year I've learned a lot. Granted, more from failures than success, but whether it's from positive or negative events, growth is still growth. Does that make any sense? I don't know. To me, it does. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> As Yoda once said, the greatest teacher failure is, excuse the reference, I've literally just binge watched all the Star Wars movies for the first time after watching and enjoying the Mandalorian TV show that's on Disney Plus, so my mind is still stuck in that world right now. <laughs> but anyways, I think this painting is also kind of influenced by the worlds and galaxies found in the Star Wars realm, so there's that too. Back to reflecting though, this has nothing to do with Star Wars. <laughs> So I went into 2019 as a recent graduate from university. I had big ambitions. I was ready to take on the world, experience new things, begin new adventures, start my dream career and overcome any challenges I came across, which is pretty much my expectations going into this new year. <laughs> but as you can probably predict from my previous confession, Things just didn't go as planned, and it's taken me some time to accept that it's okay that I had a bad year. 2019 for me was a year of experimentation, and many things in a way failed. Like every year, there were highs and lows, but for me, the lows greatly outnumbered the highs. However, I realized recently the thing is failure wasn't what made 2019 bad for me, it wasn't what created the lowest of lows, rather it was how I allowed my falls and fumbles to keep me down, how I began to expect mistakes and mishaps, and how I let the doubt control me and allowed my optimism and hope to vanish. I'm not going to go into any details because frankly, it's personal, and a lot of the negativity I did encounter in 2019, I'm slowly learning to let go, so I don't really want to dwell on everything that went wrong in my head. <laughs> In the beginning of the year, I was in a suppressive environment I wasn't comfortable in, and yet I couldn't just leave, and so as time progressed, my mental and physical health became a mess. My anxieties ruled over my thoughts and hindered my actions, and it came to a point where I basically shut myself off from the world. I literally became R2-D2 during The Last Jedi. I built boundaries to keep my emotions away, and the strongest of them all was fear. And it was more of an internal fear within me. You could say I was seduced by the dark side. All right, I'm gonna stop. That's the last one, I promise. No more Star Wars references. Anyways, it was fear of failing to live up to an ideal life I just couldn't match. I was desperate to hide my lack of confidence from others, and I even tried to fool myself. I have a tendency to hide my honest emotions and thoughts when I'm not feeling well, and from a young age I've developed a habit of indifference, as if the facade makes me stronger. It's an illusion of control that I've been able to acknowledge but still struggle to deal with to this very day. While I drowned my emotions for most of the year, I also unconsciously neglected another important part of who I was which was my creativity. For the first half of 2019, I created nothing. Literally nothing. No paintings, no drawings, no writings, not even reading, no daydreaming. I couldn't even remember dreaming at night. I never cooked or baked. The only thing I kept up was journaling, but even that I had to force myself to do. And I ended up losing my enjoyment of it, it feeling more like a chore than a hobby. I found myself becoming stagnant, 
Trapped in a shell of suppressed emotions while reminiscing on the past, I kept thinking back to years I was happier, wishing I could go back to a time when I had self-confidence and had self-love, when my good days were less scarce and few. I was desiring the past, ignoring the present, and foregoing the future. I was like this for most of spring and summer. Fortunately, in the summer, I was finally free to leave the uncomfortable environment, and by autumn, I'd found a new, fresh place to start over, but it'd taken a season to let go of most of the clinging uncomfort I'd previously felt, and to this day, I still feel it every now and then. Sometime in October, I had this epiphany in which I realized I was living passively. I wanted to climb out of my internal negativity, but nothing was changing because I wasn't allowing myself to step away and move on. I had to be more progressive if I wanted to change. I had to recognize the feelings I'd neglected for most of the year, and I had to let go of the past to live in the present. However, I had trouble accepting my emotions, and I wasn't ready to uncork that bottle and let myself drown all over again, as it may come to a surprise, but unhinged emotions, anxiety, and a lack of self-love and confidence aren't the greatest combination for anyone. So I decided to use an old and cherished outlet to express myself, to release my emotions in a more controlled and comfortable way. I turned back to my good friend, creativity. First, I started to read again, which inspired me to write again. Then I allowed myself to pour my thoughts and feelings into colors and images made by paint and imagination. I even developed a newfound love for making videos, which is why I'm still here. <laughs> I fell back in love with the act of creation, making things for myself before anyone else. And slowly but surely, I began to feel better. Of course, I did many other things to find my sense of self again. I leaned back into an optimistic perspective, even when more obstacles were presented to me. It wasn't easy. Tears were still shed. Tears are still shed. Anxiety still spikes. Doubt still likes to whisper in my ears. And into 2020, I'm still working on finding self-love and confidence again. I feel like all I've talked about were depressing things, and I don't mean for this video to have that connotation. I want to inspire the opposite by sharing a bit of my own struggles. I hope others who may be able to relate can feel less lonely while consumed by their own negativity and stepping into a new decade. I completely understand that pressure can be created from a new year. People are desiring change. People are chasing their dreams and aspirations. And people don't want to fall behind others in these endeavors. And so it's the first today and I have no idea when this video will go up. <laughs> if it will go up, but I just want to tell whoever's listening to know that it's okay. Change takes time, and so while you're dreaming up big things for 2020 and you may be holding on to some negative thoughts or memories from the previous year, that's okay too. That will take time to let go, and you can still move forward regardless. I want others to know that it's okay to have a bad day, a bad week, a bad month, a bad year. It's normal or whatever that word implies. <laughs> like I said earlier, it took time and self-reflecting to accept my 2019, to accept my failures and mistakes, to validify my feelings, because if not for them, I wouldn't be where I am today, and today I'm still taking the time to move on. I want to leave you all on a positive note. The knowledge I gained from 2019 and will take into 2020 with a hopeful and stronger mindset what 2019 taught me is that you have the capability to destroy yourself or create yourself, as that is the power of thought. And so don't be held back by mistakes and failures. Instead, accept them, learn from them, and keep going. Again, it'll take time, but just keep going, because you can do it. So if you've seen any of my previous videos, this one is a bit different as I'm actually doing a voiceover, which I have never done before, and I have no idea if I will continue to do this, but I just wanted to find a way that I could communicate more through the videos where I don't necessarily show myself, ergo my painting and journaling videos, because I really want to just talk more and share my own thoughts and feelings and life and knowledge and whatnot with anybody who's interested. Um, and so I'm trying out this way, 
but this particular video idea came from seeing a lot of my friends, family, and even strangers post about how great their 2019 was. I'm really happy for those who did love the previous year, but I'm also going to be honest and say I was a bit envious, but I've realized that if I wallow in the feeling of wanting what others had, I won't be happy. So while in my own perspective, I wasted most of 2019 dwelling on everything that went wrong and feeling like I didn't have the control to fix anything, that may have held some truth, but I wasn't allowing myself to live with a good mindset. Yes, I was hurt. Yes, I was let down. I made poor decisions, but they didn't destroy me because I wouldn't let them. I found the courage to keep going, and that is what I will continue to do in 2020 as I face more challenges and make more mistakes because I'm a human being. I've learned from my past, but I'll improve day by day. Until I can find self-love and have more confidence in myself again. I had those things before, I know I can create them again. And so, if you can relate in any way to what I've just blabbered on about, I want you to know that you can too if you're struggling. You can find self-love, you can find confidence, you can be happy, and you don't need to put so much pressure on you in this new year. Okay, that's pretty much all I have for my motivation <laughs> talk. Um, thanks for listening and sticking with me in the new year. I was not planning on having a YouTube channel at the beginning of 2019. And I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing in 2020, but I do have some ideas. Um, and I have a lot of things in the works, but I'm not going to make any promises because I don't want to feel internal pressure. <laughs> Just going to take things day by day and see what happens. Now I am probably going to go finish editing this video and then treat myself to rewatching another episode of Cheese in the Trap because I deserve it. <laughs> But anyways, I truly hope you all have an extraordinary year and I'll see you in my next video.